Hey, hey, party people, it's Lycona the Chi Chi, and welcome to Eden's Gate Inundation Savage, or better known as Leviathan, from your memory, or even better known as E3S. So first off, I want to talk a little bit about our marker placement here. A and B are set in such a way to where the line that goes through the stage at the A and B markers are the points at which the stage breaks away later in the fight. One and two are going to be the positions where we do the dance, and I'll explain that a little later. And C and D are placed in such a way that when we have to dodge Leviathan's diagonal AoEs, that's the safe spot of where our party is to run to. Also, before you start, you want to separate your party out into two groups for the left and right sides. One tank, one healer, and two DPS. Preferably one melee DPS and a range DPS on one side and melee and range on the other side. The first mechanic is Tidal Roar, which will be a party-wide AoE. Next, Levy will cast Rip Current, which is the tank buster, and a tank swap. The tanks will need to be separated as you can see here, so we have them standing around one and two or just on the left or the right side of the party. Next up, Levy will cast Tidal Wave, which places the water spout on the left or right side of the stage. Now remember what I talked about between the A and the B markers? As you can see here, there's this line on the stage that goes from the front to the back, and we use the A and B marker as sort of a guide to know where the stage is going to break away. So when you see that water spout come up, you want to run to about right here, right on the inside edge of this line. Levy will then break away the outside parts of the stage while the water spout will knock you to the other side. You can also use your anti-knockbacks here, but just be careful in case it's not up for future mechanics. Next, Levy will jump to one corner of the stage and spit out an AoE that will go across the stage diagonally. This means that there are always two safe spots depending on which side Levy jumps to. One corner is in the front and the opposite corner in the back. Right after that, our party stacks directly into middle to put down all of our AoEs and a second set of AoEs will appear on each party member. As you can see here, the left and right groups drop their puddles in this pattern. We have the left group go left and the right group go right. Our setup from the front to the back is tank, melee, range, and then heals. Of course, you can prioritize your own setup with your own group. Right before your puddles go off, Levy will jump to either corner to cast her stage-wide AoE. So you can either dodge on the back corner or the front corner depending on which side Levy is on. Once you get back to the center, the entire stage will reform and Levy will cast Maelstrom. There'll be little AoEs on the grounds that will expand and if you get hit with them, they'll give you a slow movement debuff. Giant water circles will appear on the outside of the stages, which corresponds to how Levy is going to dive bomb through the stage. During this dodging phase, Levy will only dive bomb two times. One thing to keep in mind is during this phase, if we break up the stage into four quadrants, we can safely place our character on the quadrant that will not get a dive bomb. As you can see here, a dive bomb will only cover half of the stage, so you can use the stage lines as a marker to avoid each dive bomb. Also, try and stay towards the middle of the stage. Standing near the middle gives you the maximum amount of flexibility to dodge into the safe quadrant. And if you get hit with a slow debuff by accident, you'll still have enough time to dodge the dive bombs. One thing that I have noticed in my runs is that if you park yourself in between two of the small circles, you'll never get hit when the circles expand. Once Levy comes back, he'll cast Tidal Roar, which is a party-wide AoE, and then the next new ability is Tsunami, or what I like to call the Tsunami Dance. So each party member will get a specific buff. One member of the party will We'll get this line debuff. What this line debuff will do is, depending on how your character is facing, it will create a knockback wave in front of you that knocks your party members away. In this case, we have our party member with that line debuff stand up behind the party and knock everybody forward towards Leviathan. Since that line knockback is pretty wide, we pre-position ourselves into our left and right groups near the 1 and 2 markers. Right after the knockback goes off, the left group should run towards the left side, and the right group should run towards the right side. The reason is because Levy will break away the middle of the stage, separating your party into two groups. Four on the left, four on the right. Once again, Leviathan will jump to a corner of the stage to cast the AoE. This means that one party has to disengage while one party has to stay close to Leviathan. At the same time, each group should stack on top of each other to share the water debuff damage. Next, Leviathan will cast Tidal Roar again, followed by Rip Current, the tank buster. In this case, we have R2 tanks stand all the way at the front of the stage in order to take those busters so everyone can continue hitting Leviathan. Next, Levy will jump to a corner again to cast that diagonal AoE, but this time it will always be the opposite side from the first corner, meaning during this phase where the stage is split up. If your group dodged up front, then your group is now going to dodge towards the back, and if your group dodged towards the back the first time, then your group is now going to dodge up front. It always switches from one corner to the other. 
One other quick thing is that the C and D markers are placed here, so our group knows how far to run away from Levy to dodge the AoE. The middle part of the stage will come back again, as well as Levy will cast another raid-wide AoE that needs to be healed through. Once Leviathan takes a little break and gets a refreshing shower, we're gonna have to do a little bit more work in order to dodge more things from Levy. Tidal Rage will be cast again, so heal appropriately. Next up is Tidal Wave, which will put a water spout on either the left or the right side of the stage. Position yourself on the line accordingly and get knocked back or use your anti-knockbacks. Once the two sides of the stages fall away, Levy will then jump to a corner. Now the difference here is that once Levy does her first diagonal AoE, he'll automatically jump to the other corner to cast another diagonal AoE across the stage. So for here on out, you want to dodge Levy's first diagonal AoE on one corner and then immediately run to the opposite corner to dodge the second one. Right after those two dodges, our party meets up in the middle and then we get our AoEs on the ground and we spread out into our formation here. This time each party member will put down a puddle so what you have to do is not put these puddles in the corners because those are your safe spots of where you're going to dodge. Obviously don't run into these puddles because you'll get Droopsy which can be healed through but your healers are going to hate you for it. After you drop down your puddles head towards a corner to dodge Levy's diagonal AoE and remember to run to the other corner to dodge the second one. Next up, Levy will cast Maelstrom, which is the second dive bomb phase, but this time instead of just two dive bombs, it's now three. Since the whole stage will be covered in dive bombs, you want to position your character so that you dodge into the first dive bomb after it goes off. Of course, you'll also want to pay attention to the second and third dive bombs as well, because they'll be your indicators for the true safe spot. Really, this phase, like the one before it, is all about situational awareness. And if you can dodge the first dive bomb phase, you'll be able to dodge this one easily as well. Just remember, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Next up, Levy will cast Tidal Rage, which is a party-wide AoE, followed by Rip Current, which is the Tank Busters. Next up, Leviathan will cast Stormy Horizon. So how we handle this mechanic is that we have the party here line up on the left. Five AoEs will come out in succession, and we dodge each one of them going towards the middle. We have the two tanks line up on the right side and dodge in towards the middle as well. We have the tanks line up on the right side of Levy because as they're dodging in, it's clear to see which tank has the flare so they can disengage. The tank with the flare just goes all the way to the back of the stage. Once the party and the tank without the flare reach the middle, we'll run towards Levy and at the same time look at which side Levy is jumping to because he's going to cast his diagonal AoE. Don't forget, when you dodge the first diagonal AoE, you need to run to the opposite corner in order to dodge the second one. Once you're in the safe corner, Levy will cast a line AoE, so we just have the party stay here and not move. The flare on the tank should have already gone off, so that tank just needs to come back up and stack with the party. Meanwhile, Tidal Rage comes out as well as a lot of damage, so heal up and mitigate the damage appropriately. After all that, we have our party stack right in the middle because everyone's going to get an AoE underneath them. We have our left to right groups run to our positions as such, but this time, we have to run all the way to the outside of the stage because we don't want these things cluttering up the middle here. Levy will then knock away the sides of the stage and now we're into the Tsunami Dance where everyone gets a unique water debuff. So let's go over each water debuff separately and the movements of each party member. Then see how they all work in concert together to get past the Tsunami Dancing mechanic. First, a random DPS will get this debuff which has a small dot in the middle of it with arrows pointing outward. The person with this debuff will do an AoE knockback to the party. We have this person stand at the very front of Levy, and the rest of the party stands a little bit behind that person with the debuff in preparation to get knocked back towards the center of the stage. Whoever gets this debuff will go to the one marker during the party knockback. After the party gets knocked back, the tanks will run to the front corners on their respective sides. The three DPS who didn't get the first debuff will go to the number two marker, and the healers will go to the number one marker. So there should be two healers and the DPS with the dot on one, and the other three DPS on two with the tanks in the corners, up at the very front. Two people will get the arrow debuffs that point inwards. This debuff will always appear on one DPS and one healer. Since we know this, we can pre-plan our stack points for when this debuff explodes. Since we have the healers and the DPS with the first dot debuff, 
AOF stack at 1, while the other 3 DPS stack at 2, you'll always guarantee that both these AOEs will go off on the separate groups. The next debuff that we have to pay attention to is this upside down triangle which we'll call Voice. One healer and one DPS will always get the Voice debuff. When standing at either the 1 or the 2 marker, they should aim their voices towards the tanks on the opposite side. So if you're a DPS at 2 with Voice, you want to hit the tank on the opposite side at A. And if you're the healer with Voice at 1, you want to hit the tank on the opposite side at B. For the rest of the party, make sure you're standing behind the people with the voice. Once you see the voice mechanic go off, the DPS with the line debuff will go to the very front of the stage, then turn and face the inside of the stage to knock back the party towards the middle. Since the knockback direction is based on the way your character is facing, the DPS with the line debuff will just have to disengage Levy and turn their character towards the party to knock them back. Once the party gets knocked back, one tank will have the big circle debuff, and the other tank will have the line debuff. The tank with the circle debuff will stand at the very back of the stage and stay there, while the tank with the line debuff will stand in front of the circle tank, face the party, and knock the party back towards the front of the stage. Once the party gets knocked back to the front of the stage, everyone except for the circle tank should be all the way up front, underneath Levy. Meanwhile, the tank's circle debuff will explode. The tank circle debuff is a huge AoE, so the tank should be all the way at the back of the stage while the party should be all the way up front, so you don't get clipped with that giant AoE. During this entire phase, you'll also notice that a second smaller circle debuff appears on everyone. These get removed by the amount of damage that you take from the various knockback AoEs and the voices, hence the reason why we've set up everything exactly the way it is and hit everybody with exactly what they get hit with. So after that, Levy will jump to a corner and cast his diagonal AoE, and then right after, he'll jump to the other corners so dodge to the other side. Next up the stage will reconstruct itself and Levy will cast two tidal rages back to back, followed by Rip Current the Tank Buster. Next up Leviathan will cast Rolling Pulse. At this point run to your side of the stage and separate into your left right groups. Both tanks will get flares while the rest of the party has a stack mechanic. We have the party with the stack mechanic run all the way up front while both tanks disengage Levy and run all the way to the back with their flares. Levy will then cast Black Smokers, which is a two-part mechanic, one for the tank and one for the ranged DPS and heals. Each tank can stay all the way at the front of the stage and take these AoEs, so pop cooldowns to mitigate that damage. Meanwhile, a tether will attach itself to the furthest person away on either side. The person with the tether will soon drop these puddle AoEs. The person that's dropping these puddle AoEs cannot overlap those puddle AoEs or they'll explode. Also, the two DPS that do not have the tether, once the puddle is put on the ground, a DPS has to run into it immediately. If you don't, the puddles will explode and wipe the party. For the DPS that do not have the tether, we alternate which puddles we take. So one DPS will take the first and the third puddle, while the second DPS will take the second and the fourth puddle, as you can see here. After the puddles resolve, as well as the tank busters, Levy will jump to a side and you either have to dodge forward or back. But also keep in mind Leviathan will jump to the other corner and do the exact same diagonal AoE on the other side, so you need to switch your positions. So essentially, it's the forward corner to back corner, or back corner to forward corner. After that, Levy will cast Tidal Rage again, the stage will be reconstructed, and now we're into the Calm, which is the Enrage sequence. Levy will then cast three Tidal Rages, and then the Storm, which is the final Enrage. And that's it! If you have enough DPS to clear Levy, then you have done it, and you know all the mechanics. Also, just want to let you guys know, these videos take quite a long time to make, and all you have to do is just hit the little subscribe button and, uh, and like the video if you think this guide has helped you out. Those two things will definitely help out the channel. Just keep in mind that as more groups clear Levy, there's going to be different guides and different strategies for all these different mechanics, so use this guide as a guideline. Also take note that in the description below, I've tried to gather as many guides and as many diagrams and as clear videos and as many things as possible, so you can use all of those resources to get your Levy clear. So thank you guys for hanging out with me, I hope this guide helped you out, and until next time, keep on adventuring!